In this video, we'll look at how you can use the search to find attachments, how you can then manipulate the columns to show you what you're uh, seeking, and then lastly, how you can organize the view so that it looks hierarchical, which might be quite useful in certain situations. So first of all, uh, filtering for attachments. So we've got this column called at, and if I click on the little filter there, what this is showing me is that of all the messages that I've got in my index, they either have no attachments or as many as seven. They may have somewhere between the two. And I can drag these little uh, pointers around here to home in. So these are all the messages that have between four and two attachments. These are the ones that only have two attachments. So it's pretty instantaneous, very, very useful. We're going to close that and leave that filtered. So we're now filtered and showing only those messages that have two attachments. Now what I'd like to see is what, what are those attachments? And I can either right click on the column and pick the column chooser or up here pick column chooser from there which is easier. So here are columns that aren't in my view at the moment but could be added. So I'm going to pick the attachment names and put it down next to here. I don't have to have it there, I can move it around, move it somewhere else. Um, and similarly, if you right click, you can then hide the column to remove it. So it's then gone, we'll put it back. So let's put attachments in there. So I can see the attachment names now, and then with it displayed, I can use that as a filter as well. So I can look for something that mentions gifts. And here we've got gift aid, um, PDF file that it's found. So that's a nice quick way to filter on attachments. I'm going to pick reset and so lastly what we'll do is just have a look at how you you can organize the view so that it looks a bit like a folder structure and for some situations that can be beneficial. So I'm going to add a, a column that we haven't got in here which is called the group name column. I'll just park that down there. We'll close that. And if I right click on the header here and say show group by box, the group by box is a, uh, a tool here. It says drag a column header here to group by that column. So I can pick this um, column and make that the first part of my folder structure. Then I'm going to say below that I want lo the location name and below that I want who it's from. And it straight away created this hierarchy for me. Now I have um, connected into Excitec Mail uh, these four different groups, one which has cloud storage locations, one's got some demo content, I've got some local demo content, and then I've got projects. If I look in my projects group, it's only got two projects in there. You may have hundreds or thousands. And then this shows that it should go group name, location name, and from. So after that, we've got from, and then if I expand any of these, so if I go from Charlie Checker, it's showing all of the emails that are from Charlie Checker to do with Spangle Court, which is part of the project group. Now I can move these around. So I might decide that actually I want um, group name in the middle there, or in fact, I don't want it at all. I can then ungroup that. And so now it's showing me by location name and then who it's from. So I can say expand Spangle Court, expand Charlie and the same thing there. So you can use that just to organize things in a uh, visually logical way.